Hey you guys, it's Jessica here. My username is Jessica Expanded, and today is Friday, May 17th, 2013. And I was going to come on here and do a food haul video slash recipe video, and turns out that I like ate a lot of my food that I was gonna show you, so it wouldn't have really worked out anyway. Um, but I thought I would come on here and do like a 25 random facts that you may or may not know about me because um, I thought it would be fun. So I am 24 years old. I live in San Francisco, California. I was born here. I was raised in the suburbs like 20 minutes south of here um, but very close. Um, I have a dog named Sparkles. You've probably seen her in a few of my videos. She's the cutest thing ever. I got her from a rescue last year called Pound Puppy Rescue where they rescue like either puppies or pregnant dogs and then they pay for the pregnant dogs to give birth, like all the veterinary bills and stuff. And then they adopt them out. So um, yeah, my dog's name is Sparkles. I don't know what kind of breed she is. She's like, um, come here, let me show you. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna show you the people. This is her, this is her long body. And this is her face. Oh, it's sparkly. Look at the camera. She has cherry eye, which doesn't hurt her, apparently says my, says my, uh, vet, but she's so cute. She's like 12 pounds, so she's a little thing. Um, anyway, I had the lap band put in August 2012, and my highest weight was 198, and today I am 171.6. Um, my goal weight is... 129 but we'll just see when I get in the 130s how I feel um, I am 5'2 so I'm a short I'm really short um, my body type is an hourglass um, I have really thick legs I have wide hips I have like a really tiny waist compared to everything else so um, I really like one of my favorite aspects about me is like the shape of my body. I just want to be smaller. Um, so more random things. Um, I have a boyfriend named Dan and he's so sweet and cute and I love him so much. Uh, we've been dating for about a year and a half now. Um, but it seems like way longer. He's like my soulmate, like my person, my lobster. He's so sweet. Um, and he is 32. Um, when I was little, like my job, you know, like how people wanted to be like firefighters or astronauts or whatever. I, <laughs> I wanted to be a mailman and, or a male woman, not a male woman, a, a mail carrier. And I still kind of do really bad, even though I know that mail is probably, the U.S. Postal Service is probably not doing too well right now. But that's always what I wanted to be. thought it would be fun because you get to, like, see dogs and give people letters and talk to people. I always thought I would be good at that. And I think I would look really cute in their little outfit. Um, but my dream job now that I am 24 years old is like if I could do anything in the world, I would, I would want to be a baby sloth nurse. They have a baby sloth orphanage in, what is your problem? They have a baby sloth orphanage in Costa Rica. And it's like baby sloths and they like save them from the side of the road and it's like the best thing ever and they put them in pajamas and you get to like feed them from a bottle. That would be my ideal job ever. 
ever. Maybe I should do that. I should follow through. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, I lived in Europe for a year when I was 20. So I lived in London for about five months. And I lived in Florence, Italy for five months. And I like traveled around and I made a lot of really good friends that way. Um, the school that I went through was like Northern California. People were all grouped together. So when we came back to the States, we could all stay in touch and like be close together. So that was pretty cool. Um, speaking of school, something I'm really self-conscious about is the fact that I have been trying to get my... Well, not really trying, but I've been going to school since I was 18 or 17 when I got out of high school. So I went to university, then I went to junior college, then I went abroad, and I don't have any sort of degree at all. And I've been, you know, taking classes. Some of them I've dropped, some of them I've failed, some of them I've done really well in, but like nothing adds up to a degree and that makes me pretty self-conscious um especially since a lot of my friends or not my friends but a lot of the people I went to high school with are like working for Google and Gen in Tech and crazy companies <laughs> like that um in the Bay Area so that's something I'm self-conscious about but I also don't know if it's something that I want to do um, maybe later on down the line I might want to, but for right now I, I really don't. Um, something else. Oh, in high school, every single summer since I was a freshman, so for four summers, I went to a fitness and nutrition camp in San Diego. And basically what it was was a fat camp. Like, um... I don't know what that movie's called, but the movie with Ben Stiller where, like, he's at fat camp, that's what I did. Um, except it wasn't, like, out, out in the wilderness. It was, like, um, in San Diego. <laughs> but um, that's what I did, and I was, like, the smallest person there every, every single year, and everyone would, like, and I never fit in because everyone would hate me because I was so small. I was, like, I wasn't so small, but I was like smaller than everyone else there. So they wouldn't like me. It was sad. Um, but yeah, that's where I learned how, that's where I learned that I loved to work out. And um, that's where I learned a lot of what I know now, um, even though I don't always practice it. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, oh, in high school and before I was a swimmer, um, for a long time, since I was like eight, I swam, um, on swim teams and for my high school and I was never the best at it, but I was always pretty good. I wasn't bad at all. I... I um, contributed to the team and I loved it. I loved being outside in the water. Like it was so great. Um, I also played water polo, um, which I was probably better at than just swimming. Um, I'd always played defense because I cannot throw for anything. Um, I'm not very co coordinated, but I'd always played defense and I was pretty good. Um, and I miss it so much. Um, but I think I would probably die if I tried to play water polo again anytime soon. Um, but maybe one day I'll get back into like doing masters swimming or, or water polo or something. We'll see. Um, just some random things. Um, my dad used to call me Ladybug. And I have like all these ladybug, like my, my parents gave me a necklace that was, it's like a little ladybug and it has little diamonds in it and I love it. And like, I have like 
you know, my dad will give me whatever with like little ladybugs on it. But it's funny because ladybugs, like the actual bug kind of freak me out. Like I would never kill an, oh, here's another random fact. I would never kill a bug besides, no, actually I would never kill a bug. Um, because I don't like killing living beings <laughs> and, um, it's hard for me to kill animals, even if they're like bugs that I don't like. But, um, what, where did that come from? Anyway, so I would never kill a bug. And what I do when I see a spider, even though I hate them, I trap them in a box. And then, and then I take the box to the door and then I open the box really fast and I throw it like as far as I can. And then I close the door and then I wait like until the next day and then I go and I get the box. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, um, yeah, I don't, I think that's probably 25 things I wasn't keeping track, but Oh, here's another random thing. I got my first pet was a little kitty cat. Well, sweet kitty cat. She was black and white with green eyes. She's the cutest thing ever in my life. And I got her when I was 10 years old for my birthday. See, I'm already getting all teary-eyed. Um, 10 years old. I got her and she's all fluffy and she had the most beautiful fluffy tail you've ever seen and she was black and white and her name was Mimi and now I'm crying but um she was like the most amazing like special thing that ever happened to me and she passed away when I was 23 so she was 13 and I think about it and it was like, oh my gosh, what is my problem? Um, <laughs> more than half of my life, I was with this animal and she meant so much to me and um, she passed away and still, as you can see, every time I talk about her or think about her, I start to cry because she meant so much to me. She was like, she's been through so much um yeah uh what else can I tell you oh well so a lot of people say think or whatever <laughs> they have told me that you know it's um I was a smaller person to be getting the lap band um, and I made the decision to get the lap band when I was 186 pounds um, at five foot two. So I was, I was probably about 40 pounds overweight. And um, the, the main reason why I decided to get it was because I have been having a lot of health issues. Um, I deal with PCOS. Um, I deal with chronic pain and chronic fatigue for a long time. Um, I had my thyroid taken out when I was 19, and it's made it very difficult for me to lose weight even even after the lap band. But um, I had been dealing with a lot of health issues, and I still am, and I, that's something I really want to get under control. So can you stop barking? Um, so that was like the main reason why I got the lap band also because I had been yo-yo dieting since I was 13 years old and the lap band has really helped with that. This has been the longest I've gone with the most amount of weight and I've kept it off um, without regain. So even though I haven't lost a whole ton of weight, I've only lost about 27 pounds um in nine months 10 months um it means a lot to me because I haven't regained it um 
and I haven't done anything drastic to lose it. I've just done the healthy thing and I got to where I am. So hopefully I can make it down to my goal. <laughs> um, I don't have a time frame, but at some point in the next few years, hopefully I'll make it down to my goal. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a great night and I will talk to you all later. Bye.